Hey guys, welcome back to 96 Nutrition Street. Today we will be making a dish packed with vitamin D. We will be making a perfectly pan seared salmon with a medley of mushrooms and grilled asparagus. Why do you want to make this dish? Well, I know in my last video, I'll link it up here for you. I mentioned that it's better to get vitamin D from the sun, but you can also get it in with some foods. There's very few foods that have vitamin D, and those are fatty fish and mushrooms. So just take a look here. We've got some salmon. Uh, you can also eat tilapia, herring, rainbow trout, any fatty fish. And here on the other side, we've got a medley of mushrooms. So this is um, shiitake mushroom, portobello mushroom, and oyster mushrooms. You can use any mushroom you want. The other reason why you might want to make this dish is because it's delicious. And you can impress your friends. Bring your friends over, they will surely be impressed. Let me show you the ingredients that we will be using today. We will need two pieces of salmon, two portobello mushrooms, one lemon, and two garlic cloves. We will also need oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, one tablespoon of butter, brine, which I made with one liter of water and a fourth cup of salt, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, a bunch of chives, a bunch of asparagus, and two spring onions. Now we will put the salmon in the brine for 20 minutes and cut the oyster mushrooms in thin slices. We will do the same with the shiitake mushrooms. We're going to peel the portobello mushrooms and chop this bit off. Chop it in half. So we're gonna do the repeat the same steps with all mushrooms. Weird. My second name is weird. Just take your lemon and half of the lemon will be for the wedges and half of the lemon will be for the lemon juice. mushrooms should be looking after five minutes of being in medium-high heat. Now we're gonna put them in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 10 minutes. And we let it cook here for 6 to 8 minutes until we see that this part will be slightly cooked Now that the salmon has been cooked a quarter of the bottom, we will turn them around and let them cook for 8 to 10 more minutes. We will grill the asparagus for about 5 to 8 minutes until they're cooked through. the portobello mushrooms on a separate tray, a little bit of salt,
how beautiful this is. The salmon is cooked to perfection. It's crispy and golden. Let's take a look inside. There we go. Moist, perfectly cooked salmon. And now we have to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on top to give it that zing. Yum! And these shiitake mushrooms are so good. They became really, really crispy. Mmm, mmm, nice and crispy. They've got like that Asian flavor to them. Let's try the salmon. All right. Mmm, perfectly cooked. Really good. That's how salmon should be cooked. <laughs> it's important to pull the salmon out, even though you think it's undercooked. It's important to let it out for five minutes out of the fire and just let it cook through. I know this isn't an everyday dish. Buying fresh salmon is quite pricey, but it's just a dish that you can make with your friends or your family on the weekends to boost your vitamin D levels. I bet you didn't know how to make a dish with three different types of mushrooms. I really hope you liked this dish. Let me know if you try it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to support my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.